Well, I'm going to do my salmon. Well, what I normally do is add all my seasonings. I'm going to use my standard Himalayan salt. I usually use flakes and all that. My regular pepper. I use sometime cumin. Carinder. I mix different seasons up. Sometimes I add a little ginger. It gives a yellow hue. And if you don't want the yellow hue, <clears throat> then you want to use, make sure you mix it up very well with your seasoning and use less of the ceramic. Then the skin I automatically peel off. If you're baking it or frying it. So don't get all you. I can't believe she leaving the skin on. You don't want your hair to smell fishy? Get a thumb. Here, season well. And I'm gonna use all of my season. And I add <coughs> the peppers getting to. <coughs> I add just the. Uh, some olive oil or either grapeseed oil in a pan or dish that I use. I'm gonna use a glass dish because it's just three pieces. Find another one in here. I 
I can't find my little short one, so I'm going to have to sharpen it. So, what I usually do is just lay my onions like so. Make sure I take the uh, first layer off. So I got bell pepper, jalapeno peppers, uh, yellow onions. I'm turning my oven up to 350. I'm laying it on top of my seafood on top of the veggies. seasons on top of the fish. And you say, well, what about the um, oil? Um, you can't put the oil in here. Shake it around to get some of the seasons out. And I just let it drip. And if you got something to cover your dish up, you cover your dish up. That ain't nothing but about uh, one tablespoon of oil that I use. Putting all my seasons. I'm not leaving no seasons behind. And it makes a good seasoning brew. Believe it or not. Makes your almond taste dish taste different. You don't want to have the same old. I'm washing my hands now. You don't want to have the same old. Nasty tasting salmon that you always find in restaurants and stores. You want to change up. You definitely want to change up with different seasonings and this way of preparing it. Different way of preparing it. If you have oil, which I'm out of oil, what I do is improvise. If I have parchment paper or wax paper to help hold down the mark. Yeah, I thought I forgot about my skillet, but I didn't. I forgot to get some uh, foil, so I'm using this parchment paper to help retain the heat. Or, if you can find a, you know what, I don't have to use parchment paper. You can find, like I have this piece of you can sit it on top of your dish. 
as to, keep, to lock in the moisture. And if you want to throw a pizza in, you throw a pizza in. But you want to match it, uh, however to say on 35 minutes, I mean 350 minutes, you want to, uh, I'm going to say 350 minutes, you want to have your oven up to 350. You can set your timer for an hour or 45 minutes, whichever one you prefer. Some people like well done, so they probably cook it possibly uh, 30, 40 minutes, uh, uh, 45 minutes. So an hour, depending on how fast they oven cook or how slow it cooks, sometimes it can take anywhere from 35 to 45 minutes to an hour to cook the salmon well done. Or you just keep your oven closed. Don't let nobody go in while you're cooking. And we're going to wait till the dish get done and see how that turn out. And meanwhile, I'm putting up the seeds. Oh, my mess. I have shrimp that I gotta clean, so I'll put it in here. So this container away. I gotta peel these. These are jumbo. It's no fun without having some kind of shrimp. So right now, I'm doing is soaking them in water. And these are the ones that are clean. Vain and clean. Already done. So, what I have to do is find another container to put them in. And I have a whining pooch. Mama diamond. We'll go outside in a minute. I usually take my dog out early in the morning, around 8, 9, 10. Since I didn't go to the business today, my son is gone to work. I've been at home all week. So next month, I can't, I can't do them to be fair, but go to work with him. Because he's been, this week, he's actually done it on his own. He normally acts like he can't work without me. So I'm breaking up the uh, supposedly the vein shrimp, but I'm rinsing them and I'm gonna leave them in water for right now. I'm sitting them on this side of the stove. Okay. I'm gonna set this onion up here. So this away the rest of this part of the onion. I gotta find a better knife, y'all. I can't believe this thing is not sharpen like I supposed to, how I wanted to sharpen. I'm gonna close these up too. Still boiling. Put this over here. Put that up here on the back iron. Now I have some potatoes that I need to get rid of. Ray, you want potato salad? I have a brother that's not picking. What I'm going to do is I, I will make a small potato salad too. So what I'm going to do is go in and rinse these off. I don't know how these potatoes going to come out. Because you don't know until you cut them open or boil them. So what I'm doing is placing them in a pot. A clean pot. I'm gonna set this fish, these, I mean these shrimp over here. Now 
I'll get back to them later. What I'm going to put this back out on, I'm using this fire. Let me check on the green. and bell pepper down. Looks like it's coming along fine. Okay. What I do, this is nothing but like one, two, three, four, five, six potatoes. I don't know how they, they're small. Rusted potatoes, I don't know how they're going to come out, but I've, I've got it on high and I'm putting them on the back eye. But what I'm going to have to do is add salt. So I'm going to add sea salt to the boiling water. That's how I do it. Some people don't do it like that, but I do. Add a little salt to the water. Just like I do with my eggs. So, instead of me, the reason I'm doing this is because while those boiling, I sometimes put my boiled eggs on top of them. Or I do it in a separate pot. But since I got a grandchild coming over today, I got to get on this cooking. The whole day will carry out. They're organic. Uh, they from Mexico. Avocado. They was in an organic section. So we gotta have to have a potato salad bowl, a little small potato salad. Then I got my greens cooking. I got the seafood in here and I still got to do rice y'all my son will have a fit if I don't cook no rice but I'm going to have to cook more than one rice Buy me some organic jasmine rice. That I probably don't, cause he said he eat organic jasmine rice. So I'm gonna cook some of this. But let me tell you to catch this: you have to clean your rices, your beans, and I gotta cook some lentil beans. I know I wouldn't get in the way without cooking. So I'm gonna go on and fill up these pans. Ugh, I can't win, y'all. I'm gonna use this to uh, rinse off the rice. I cannot win today. I cannot win. They get mad when I'm not in the kitchen. They don't want to wash dishes. There's one cup. There's two cups. I'm going to make two cups of rice. Now with my um, rice, what I do is I rinse. See how fuzzy, fuzzy it is? But it's with warm water. Some people use it, but I don't have that time today to do my hair. They use it to the water. 
because it's good for your hair growth. So I'm gonna do another rinse. I'm just shaking it around. If you have a strainer, it's easier. I have one, but I'm not going to get it. The reason you're rinsing your rice, you're getting all the dirt out. Because this rice have been in the field. And other people have handled your rice. Even when it's in the package, they have handled your rice. So you want to clean your rice as much as you can. Then, if you wonder why all that fuzzy white stuff shows up, it's because your rice is not clean. That's some dirty water in there, y'all. I have it stopped up over there. So I have to unstop it. So I'm gonna put some more water in here. And as you notice, the, water, the rice is getting cleaner. It's getting cleaner. It's not as fuzzy. So I'll leave a little water in there. And that's what happens when your camera to topples. I wonder where it's made from. Cause the whole thing y'all came out of the top of it. It definitely broke. I was able to snap it back on. There we go. You just have to put it somewhere where it won't topple. Okay. A more safer environment. This diamond in the background. Okay. I'm always making a mess. Cause when you, when this happens is when I don't want to cook really. Or oh, I hadn't ate. I'm, I, I begin to make a lot of messes. So you always find yourself in the kitchen dropping stuff. Making messes. You need to either stop and eat or don't cook that day. So, you, uh, in your rice, you want to bring it to boil and you will need a lid. You will need a lid. Um, and this one, I'm going to go on and boil the egg separately. So you need some boiled water. I'm going to add salt to my water. It's help with the cracking and everything. So your eggs won't crack. 
and so it can ball perfectly. Will I make some devil legs? I don't know if I have any pimento or paprika. You never know what I may do. You can do a lot for your grandchildren. Uh, accidents happen. These little damn stands ain't worth shit for me. Well, girl, 